Hey kids, hope you're prepared for an adventure of a lifetime. Tonight, we are going to be camping and early in the morning tomorrow, we'll begin our trek. Our guide has instructed us to set up our tents and get some rest tonight. Don't these tents look unusual? They look more like sheets, don't they? Can you guess what shape these sheets will form when set up? They'll form a cube-shaped tents. Let's see how. Look here. This tent is unoccupied. Let's dismantle it to understand how it is set up. Observe that this three-dimensional tent has been laid out flat. Hence, all its faces are seen clearly at once. This representation of a three-dimensional shape as a two-dimensional shape is called a net. Alternatively, a net is a two-dimensional shape that can be folded to form a three-dimensional shape. Let's see if there are other net patterns for a cube. We know that a cube has six square faces, so its net is made up of six squares attached to one another along their edges in a specific pattern. Here's another example of a net for a cube. Observe the pattern. Did you know that a cube has 11 such nets? Look at these 11 variants and see how they fold to form a cube. Isn't it amazing? Well, it's about time I go and sleep. Else I might not just wake up for my trek tomorrow. Why don't you go practice a little bit in the meanwhile? See you next time.